Welcome to this webinar on how is food security measured. Let's start with what food security is. The Food and Agriculture Organisation of the United Nations defines food security as when all people at all times have physical, social and economic access to sufficient, safe and nutritious food that meets their dietary needs and food preferences for an active and healthy life. So in contrast, food insecurity is where someone has a limited or an uncertain availability of those healthy foods and that safe foods, or they might have an uncertain ability to acquire those foods in socially acceptable ways. So for example, dumpster diving or stealing food, or sometimes even sourcing food from food relief organisations can be perceived as socially unacceptable. So how do we measure food security and food insecurity then? Well, the USA has a suite of tools that they have been using for a number of years now, the most comprehensive of which is the US Household Food Security Survey module. That tool contains 18 questions. So it measures food security of the household and it usually measures that in a 12 month period, but you can change that to be in a 30 day reference period. It does include questions on adults and children within the household, but it does only focus on the food access reasons of food insecurity. So mainly looking at financial reasons, so not being able to afford more food, for example, and also looking at the resources and the impacted eating patterns of people within the household. If it's difficult for researchers to use all 18 questions, so they might have other questions in their surveys or interviews that they are collecting, there's a shorter version. So the Adult Food Security Survey module, which is only 10 questions long. So that does help if you don't want to burden the people that are answering the questions. One of the limitations of this version is that it doesn't ask about children's food insecurity within the household. Again, though, you can use it in a 12 month or a one month reference period. And again, it only focuses on that food access dimension of food security. Further still, if the longer tools are uh, impractical to use in the research context, a six item short form has been created. And this uses specific questions from the 18 item version. So it's really helpful if you don't have the ability to ask more questions, though one of the limitations is it doesn't capture the most severe levels of food insecurity and doesn't focus on children. Again, it focuses only on the food access reasons for being food insecure or food secure. Then there is a child version. So that's a self-administered food security survey module for children aged 12 years and above. And that's where children can report their own experience of food security. So they answer nine questions relating to their experiences, ranging from worry or anxiety down to actually running out of food. Some other examples are there's the International the Food Insecurity Experience Scale. That's a newer scale or tool, but it has been used across different population groups in different countries. It has eight questions and it is based on the US Household Food Security Survey module and also the Latin American and Caribbean Food Security Scale. Again, you can use a, a year reference period or a month, last 30 days. This particular tool is usually delivered by someone interviewing people and it measures food access and availability as well as individual food insecurity of, of someone. Then we have the Australian government measurement. So the government uses one question to measure food security in Australia, and that's through national surveys every couple of years. It does really only measure the most severe form of food insecurity because it's asking specifically whether people have run out of food and haven't had the money to buy more. And therefore it reportedly is unlikely to capture the true scale of the problem in Australia. 
So what does scoring look like then? Well, here are some examples from the US. So the, the food security labels of high food security is where food access isn't reportedly a problem or a limitation for people. If they have marginal food security, it's where one or two factors might be an issue. So they might be anxious about having enough food or they might have a little less food in their household. Low food security is where people's diet does decrease in terms of the quality but also the quantity or it's less appealing. And then very low food security is where a person, where a household really, they've got a number of issues. So they might have people within the household might have infrequent eating or eat less food. The food insecurity experience scale it really looks across that continuum as well. So where someone might have uncertainty regarding their ability to obtain food, that's from being food secure to mildly food insecure on the continuum. Then they move across to the right in terms of they might start to experience compromised food quality and variety, so the types of foods in their diet. That's where they might have moderate food insecurity. So they might not have enough money or resources to eat a healthy diet. They might be uncertain about their ability to get food and they might have started reducing their food quantity. So they might be skipping meals or run out, running out of food occasionally. And then we get to the other end of the continuum where someone is severely food insecure. So they might have actually run out of food. They might have had no food for a day or more at certain times during the year. So you can really see that food security and towards the other end of the scale, food insecurity occurs across a continuum. And so this can happen in a month, across a year. It really depends on someone's experience in terms of the factors in which that are influencing their food security. So I hope you've enjoyed this brief webinar on some of the tools that are used to measure food security and what the categories might look like. If you want further information, there's references included in the presentation.